Hi, good day. The neuropsychiatric examination, testamental stability, adaptability, and psychological functioning of applicants before they are being recruited into service. The purpose of the exam is to filter applicants if they are really suitable for the uniform services of the government. It is one of the most decisive parts of the recruitment process in the PNP, PFP, PGMP, PUCOR, and all the branches of the AFP. In fact, only 25% of the applicants pass the neuropsychiatric exam, making it the most dreaded part of the application process. Drawing is the last part of the neuro exam. Here, you are asked to draw two persons in opposite sex. After that, you describe each drawing or make a story of it in four to five sentences. Question, paano ba ang tamang pagdodrawing? Disclaimer, the following tips and tricks are not mine alone. It is a combination of my experience and all of the tips I gathered from the group of Neuropsycho IQ Exam Philippines and Antapnature.ph So, ang isang useful tips na share ko sa inyo ay the acronym DROP It is acronym guide for drawing by Ma'am Timay Peds She is one of the admin of the group Neuropsycho IQ Exam Philippines The acronym DROP stands for D Differentiate R Realistic A Accurate another E for appropriateness, and P for proportionality. So, at lahat ng ito ay nagamit ko noong nag-exam din ako ng neuropsychiatric examination way back 2017, and it's very useful. Isa-isahin natin. So, D is for different shape. So, kailangan malinaw ang gender ng drawing na ang isa ay babae at ang isa ay lalaki. So, dapat may ma-identify kung sino ang babae dyan at ang lalaki. So, how? So, female, long hair, wearing a dress, and for male, short hair, t-shirt, and pants, etc. Okay. Next is letter R for realistic. So, kung ano yung nakikita nyo sa isang tao, sa personal, dapat ganun din ang lilitaw sa inyong drawing. Okay? So, it, is, should, it should be close to reality. Iwasan mag-drawing ng cartoon, stickman and anime character dahil hindi naman ganun ang isang tao sa totoong buhay. Next is A for accurate. I-drawing ng maayos ang mga parts ng katawan at siguraduhin na kompleto ito lalo na ang mata, ilong, tenga, pipig, kilay, daliri, etc. So, huwag niyong kakalimutan yung details ng drawing ng isang tao. Okay, kung ano yung nakikita mo doon sa isang tao, dapat ganun din yung lilitaw sa drawing. So, kompleto. Next is another A or A for appropriateness. According to Mam Timay, kung ang drawing nyo is the simple mother and father, so dapat huwag nyo nang lagyan ng sapatos, okay? And kapag based naman sa profession nila, mas appropriate kung nakabihis sila or nakasapatos. Um, like katulad sa akin, ang aking drawing ay ang aking mother. So, naka-simple dress siya. And, nakapaa. Kasi, naka-housewife naman siya. And, yung drawing ko, since may wala na akong father, ang drawing ko ay ang aking stepfather. At, siya ay isang seaman. So, drawing ko siya na naka-uniform as a seaman. Okay. So, iwasan nyo na din yung mga burloloy na ilalagay sa drawing. Just, a drawing na lang ng simple yung mother and father nyo or kung sino man yung i-drawing nyo. At huwag nyo nang lagyan ng kung ano-ano pang accessories. Okay, so next is P for proportionality. Make sure na tama ang proportion ng bawat bahagi ng katawan. Hindi siya parang caricature na malaki ang ulo at maliit ang katawan. So, yung nandiyan is just example na dap na pantay-pantay. So, pantay yung mula ulo, kamay, at paa sa kanyang katawan. So, dapat ganon. Okay, so yun na yung drop. So, ang gawin nyo ay mag-practice kayong mag-drawing. And tingnan nyo kung na-apply pa doon sa drawing nyo yung acronym na yun. So, in-explain ko lang siya based doon sa nilagay din ni Mam Timay Peds na explanation and based also doon sa aking experience sa pag-drawing. Tanong, paano kung hindi marunong mag-drawing? Kailangan ba maganda ang drawing? 
hindi sagot, hindi kailangan magaling ka mag-drawing. Basta may drawing mo lang ng maayos ang hinihingi ng instruction. Practice is the key. So, mag-drawing lang kayo hanggang makadrawing kayo ng maayos na alam nyong pwede na doon sa neuro exam. Next, sino ang dapat i-drawing? So, ito rin yung mga tanong. So, ang instruction mag-drawing ng babae at lalaki. So, kung ang hinihingi ay mga yon mas maganda na i-drawing mo yung mga malapit sa'yo. Tulad ng mother and father. Tanong, paano describe ang drawing ko? Sagot, simulan mong Yeah, sila ipakilala pagkatapos isulat mo ang magandang qualities nila for example kung nanay at tatay mo maaari mong isulat ang pagiging good provider niya sa inyong family at yung sa mother mo naman ay yung kanyang magagandang qualities and yung pag-aalaga niya sa inyong family so simple lang, simplehan niyo lang Tanong, wala na po akong nanay, tatay. Sino pwedeng i-drawing? So, ang extraction naman is pag-drawing ng babae at lalaki. So, maaari may drawing ang mga kapatid, guardian, or kahit sino. Basta, ma-explain mo lang kung bakit sila ang nasa drawing mo. And, ma-describe mo yung kanilang magagandang qualities. So, sa aking paghahanap, nakita ko tong important tips to pass that neuropsychiatric exam by that nature.ph. So, link is nasa description box. So, first is to follow instruction. So, according to this, kapag ikaw ay sumusunod sa instruction, ito ay isang good indicator na ikaw ay magiging isang mabuting policeman, fireman, jail officer, or soldier sa hinaharap. Okay, so mahalaga ang pag-follow ng instruction para rin hindi ka maghamali. Number two is to manage your time during the exam. Actually, madali yung neuropsychiatric exam kung kilala mo talaga yung sarili mo. But ang number one na kalaban dyan is yung time. Kasi imagine, for 35 questions, 15 minutes lang yung malalaan na time. So, talagang pabilisan na lang din mag-isip. Kaya sabi dito, unahin nyo na yung mga madadaling items sa IQ test. Tapos balikan na lang yung mga may hirap bago maubos yung oras nyo. Okay, so number three, be consistent with your answer. So sa lahat naman nag nagbibigay ng tips, ito yung sinasabi lagi, be consistent. So hindi naman kailangan pare-parehas yung answer mo, but dapat magkakakonek sila. So number four is learn how to draw. So hindi naman kailangan na... Sobrang ganda, no? So, ito lang mga dapat yung iwasan yung step figures, mga anime or cartoon. Dapat kompleto sila ng mga parts ng katawan. Throw them with happy faces. And dapat ma-identify kung sino doon ang babae at lalaki. So, tulad nung pinag-usapan natin kanina doon sa acronym na DROP. So, and after that, you describe each drawing or make a story of it of four to five sentences. Okay, so number five is prepare for the interview. So the final part of the exam is the one-on-one -on -one interview with a psychologist to assess how you will present yourself under pressure. So mukang nakakakabayan, pero kapag nasagot mo naman ng tama yung mga tinatanong ng um, psychometry shot, eh okay naman. Okay, so yung mga itatanong din sa'yo is based lang din doon sa written exam. So dapat natatandaan mo yung mga Sinagot mo, lalo na yung strength and weaknesses. Okay? So, avoid unnecessary body movements, gestures during the interview, be snappy, and stand firm when talking, and be humble. Okay? So, dapat huwag kang magmukhang mayabang doon sa nag interview Yun lang. Okay, for a summary, the neuropsychiatric test want to know if you have a mindset of an average person. Do not pretend that you are an extraordinary one and just be yourself. Be consistent in your answers, bring out the good in yourself, and do not show any violence in your words. Lastly, never leave anything unanswered. Those unanswered questions may determine the result of the neuropsych, either you are recommended or not recommended. So, good luck, applicants. So, yun. Walang points. Ano lang siya. Recommended or not recommended lang yung magiging result. 
So, all of this is from topnature.ph and yung iba is from my own explanation and yung iba sa Psycho Neuro Philippines. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. So, yung mga nangangamba na baka daw may makalusot ng mga neurotic doon sa application ng PNP or kahit sa ang government agencies, nako, huwag nyo pong i-underestimate ang mga psychometrician or yung um, neuros na psychiatric exam ng bawat bureau dahil po lahat sila ay magagaling at hindi kayo basta-basta makalusot kahit manood pa kayo ng mga ganitong klaseng video. So, yun lang. Huwag maghanap ng answers sa internet, lalo dun sa mga ibang test. But rather, um, kilalanin nyo yung sarili nyo. And okay lang din tumingin ng tips. Basta, huwag nyo gagayahin yung sagot ng iba. In the end of the day, the test is about you at hindi tungkol sa ibang tao. So, good luck.